Sorry, kids, no Sunday delight today, but, but you know what? I actually wanted to talk about something a kind of didn't, because I looked, like, I watched Descendants, and then I looked at Rowdy's uh, review, and I'm like, yeah, Rowdy thinks like I do, this is just bad. I mean, guys, I mean, the, just the whole, I mean... There are so many, many plot holes when it comes to the Disney villains being in the, being in one place when the, because the, because Snow White's, the Evil Queen's dead, freaking Jafar is technically dead if you're, think, if you're either going by the, well, if you're going by Return of Jafar, which technically, yes, it is canon, they do mention it, so, yeah, that is canon still. Um, you know, stuff like that, I'm just like, Okay, what would... Okay, so we got Jafar Maleficent, the Evil Queen, but what... I mean, this isn't like Once Upon a Time where that actually can work because, you know... Because Disney's, because Disney's writers on Once Upon a Time actually know what the f*** they're doing. But it's the same dude who directed High School Musical. I'm like, man... This... This wasn't for you. We can have this freaking thing that has all these Disney classic Disney characters together, but, you know, when I wanted, but, when some of us actually do want some sort of Kingdom Hearts representation, either a made-for-TV movie, or a made-for-TV movie, or something live-action, no, 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 give the, give the kids this teen, this teenage shit that's been done a whole bunch of times, because we don't, because we, because we're a Disney channel, we don't, we think our teen, we know our teenage audience is a bunch of idiots, but they'll still go for it anyway, because boom. Because we're trying to be relatable. And I'm saying, like, see, but got, see, but Disney channel. Think how much money you'd get if you actually did a Kingdom Hearts series. You didn't fuck it up. You didn't fuck it up. And, you know, Square was with you guys on this. It can be it. I would want it to be an animation thing, but, you know, knowing Disney Channel, they'd probably pull the old, uh... They'd probably pull the old, I want it live action because that's what we do here. So, yeah. You know, I... I mean, yeah, I'm lamenting on a kingdom... On a... On a theoretical Kingdom Hearts show that will never be because I don't know. Just I don't I don't know. Disney just not really wanted to make a gamble on it. I mean, yes, Kingdom Hearts story is complex. It's not confusing. You actually can. I mean, when you really sit back and look at all the story elements inside Kingdom Hearts, you can actually make them. You could actually make a series, or maybe. Even something that comes after the games. I want that to happen, guys, and I know it's not. Like, seriously, guys, I want it to happen. So bad. <sighs> but, you know. But other than seeing that... Other than seeing that fucking... I didn't see that fucking abomination. I played Blade and Soul, which is a free MMO. And, uh, you know what's weird, guys? I didn't. I, you know, for my first character, I, uh, picked the wrong server. I didn't pick a recommended server. A server that won't, like, uh, have me in, like, queue me in, and I have to wait. I should have picked one of those. So my first character I'm not even using, but I did make another one, and it was pretty cool. I mean, from what I've been playing so far, I mean, I'm not even... I have barely scratched the surface of this thing. Barely. But, from what I can tell, this is... It's pretty cool. I mean, for for what it is right now, and... Still, that Sonic news that we were supposed to... Get, that like little like that little announcement for whenever time Sega deems it necessary, it still never came. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna wait until Hedgehog Day. 
And yes, folks, I'm playing Fun F World also, and dudes, getting those clocks is fucking difficult. Everything I had it on normal. World has an effect here. Something has gone very, very wrong, which is why I am here. I won't let the same happen to you. I will put you back together. From the outside, Fun F World hmm. may seem to be cute. Full of adventure, happy characters, and nothing like the Five Nights at Freddy's horror franchise. However, this game does fall to the dark side. Within the game lies something which will solve Five Nights at Freddy's once and for all. Turn it up. World, when you start the game, Sorry guys, Mickey is... Mickey, our the family dog, is barking like nuts, so uh, I can give, give that a few minutes. I'll try and turn it up so you guys don't have to hear that too much. The quote, I will put you back together, is simply referring back to Five Nights at Freddy's 4, where the Fred Bear plush is talking to the crying child. What's interesting is how this figure is talking directly to us, saying he won't let the same thing happen to us. Something bad has happened in the real world, our human world, which has made the minigame world turn bad. This is possibly the purple man killing the children, which has affected the minigame world, turning corrupt, horrifying, and not a happy place anymore. And that is true. In the minigames we play in Five Nights at Freddy's, they seem to be a happy, Playful game where you go around doing chores as the animatronics, but it's corrupt inside where we see purple man killing children, dead children scuttled all over the place, corrupt everything. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's true, but I don't really think. I don't know, Darko. I mean, yeah, I don't think the per. I mean, maybe, maybe the purple man is doing something in FNAF World. Maybe? But at the same time, man, I've been playing FNAF World for like a few days now, and I haven't seen Purple Guy at all. Like, not even, not even a mere mention of Purple Guy or any kind of Purple Guy themed enemies. But I do believe that that uh, basically FNAF World is basically the you know the crying child, you know the FNAF Four protagonists heaven i believe that this is like because think about it guys he is surrounded by his friends foxy chica bonnie and freddy but yeah i could i could go with you and say like yeah the world is corrupt because we got the nightmare animatronics roaming up roaming around we got the phantom we got the phantom animatronics roaming around we got the freaking wither animatronics roaming around and we got Golden Freddy roaming around, so yeah, I could probably yeah, I could probably go with you on that. Everything glitches the whole lot, showing that the minigame world is corrupt due to the murders of Purple Man. The heroic Fred Bear comes into FNAF World to save the day. He tells us to find five missing clocks scattered around FNAF World. Within these clocks hold a mini game. These mini games are very important for this video, as they yeah. are 100% connected to the Five Nights at Freddy's Free hints to help us get the happiest day ending in Five Nights at Freddy's Free. Here are the links. Fred Bear states, "You have to leave mm -hmm. breadcrumbs for him to help him find his way." These breadcrumbs are the hints what help us get the good ending in Five Nights at Freddy's Free. So, okay, to recap, I, I'm just taking notes, guys. So, Freddy's you Free, know, don't mind me. Night where you play as the animatronics, if you go to the left corridor, you will see hints telling us how to get the good uh -huh. ending. For example, BB Double Click, the Mangle Arcade Combination, the four cupcakes we need to collect, the Golden Freddy wall code, and the Shadow Bonnie. Now, let's go to the clock mini games. The first one we have to do is place BB into a box. This is referred. 
I'm dumb because I didn't even see that before. I'm like just doing this like what the fuck does this mean? But yeah, that does make sense. The cupcakes? Is uh, push the four cupcakes into the boxes, which is the Chica mini game. Like I stated earlier, one of the codes in the fourth clock mini game is the exact wall code how to get into the Five Nights of Freddy's free golden Freddy. Then what are we in that world? Are we like it? Are we like? Are we Fred Bears like? Okay, are we Fred Bears like freaking like? Servants or something? We're like his like little helpers. We're just helping. The, we're just helping the player in three. Uh, just get the heaviest day. Mini game, and the last clock mini game is Shadow Bonnie, and you push him inside the box too. And someone's went into the game files of FNAF World, and that mini game is called SB, which obviously stands for Shadow Bonnie. They are also in the same sequence to get the good ending in Five Nights at Freddy's mm -hmm. Free. BB, Mangle, Chica, Golden Freddy, Shadow Bonnie, and then The Happiest Day. This is a sequence to get The Happiest Day, good ending in Five Nights at yeah, Freddy's Free. Yeah, but again... Making what, all the spin Again, Darko, what does it mean? What does it mean? The children go into heaven, and finally they are in peace. This is what Fredbear is telling us to do. He wants us to set up the hints for the player in Five Nights at Freddy's Free to find in the mini games. We in FNAF World are the reason why we see the hints in the FNAF Free mini games. Fredbear is trying to save everybody. He wants to put them all back together so they can finally rest in peace. Surely that's the meaning for I will put you back together. It's not about bringing him back to life as an animatronic. It's bringing the child back together with all the other children so they can finally have the party that they wanted and they can finally go to peace. So when people, that means the happiest day mini game is actually canon. Safe. Jesus, I'm tired of that. Like, so we can't, so... So, guys, you just don't want it to be canon whatsoever. Like, seriously, you don't want it to. I don't want it because it, I think it's a good ending. The kids finally, the kids' souls are put to rest. You know? But then, you know, Fort throws a monkey wrench because, you know, our, then we think, was this all a dream by the kid? And, you know, I do believe the dream theory is correct. The pieces are in place for you. Find them, rest. These pieces are the hints in Five Nights at Freddy's Free. If it wasn't for those hints in Five Nights at Freddy's Free, folks, we would have never got the Five Nights at Freddy's Free good ending. Fredbear has helped us get the good ending. Fredbear finally gave the children the happiest day they wanted. Now this is where you guys come in. That's all I know for now. I need your help to solve this with me. Go back to Five Nights at Freddy's Free. Recap everything you know. We need to solve this. It's not over. Who is Fredbear? Why is he doing this for us? That's what I've been trying to figure out. But, uh, guys, I'm even, I'm stumped. Really, with, with Fredbear, I am stumped. I have been meticulous I'm just, like, just combing my brain soaking in all the information but I keep on coming short because it really doesn't say anything about his identity what Fred Bear technically is who he who technically is is he a spirit is he a good is he an angel is he an entity I don't know and I'm still trying to figure it out but I can't seem I mean the pieces are there like you said. But, basically, I got no idea what his identity could possibly be. Is he the first be. child murdered by Purple Man? It seems to me, to solve the story of Five Nights at Freddy's, Five Nights at Freddy's 3 
is key. Five Nights at Freddy's three mini games are the pieces to solve the true story of Five Nights at Freddy's. We just need to put them all together. Just like Fred Bear did with the children in the mini game, bring them all together. So, hmm. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I'm going to look at that ending like all night tonight and I'm going to be like, okay. It really doesn't say what he could possibly. It doesn't say what what uh, Fred Bear could possibly be. I mean, yeah, he could be the first child that got killed by the Purple Man. Could be. But I think it could be some sort of angel. Now, hear me out about this. Some sort of angel that watches over, like, the well-being of children. Saw so what the purple man was doing. And tried to save the crying child. And I'll, I'll work it together in a video soon, but... But for right now, I'm going to try and solve this the best I can. But until then, we wait. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, had some chicken and dumplings and, you know, getting kind of belchy, you know what I mean? Sorry about that. Hey, P Time, Lord, Time Lord Paradox, are you actually going to make... Are you actually going to do, like, Mario, Luigi, and the mask? Or why are you showing these characters? I mean, they could see it on your DA page if they really want to. And, yeah, guys, if you've noticed, yes, it's just me today. Everybody else is doing stuff. I'm just kind of, you know, just talking. Mm. Oh, but I... But I am going to watch uh, Parasite. And if... And if... If Kaguya Kill is still going, I'm going to... Either... I'm either going to watch it. I'm either, go, I'm either going... If it's done for now, I may just do the... I may just do the review a little early. What the? Really? Damon here with IGN News. Hyperloop Transportation Technologies has made progress on its plans to build Elon Musk's Hyperloop Transportation System. The company announced that it has filed paperwork with Kings County, California to begin construction on the five-mile test track along I-5. In a statement, CEO Dirk Alborn elaborated on the project, saying, This will be the world's first passenger-ready Hyperloop system. Everyone traveling on California's I-5 in 2016 will be able to see our activities from the freeway. Within the next few weeks, the company will take soil samples, map out the terrain, and determine where to position the pylons that will support the transportation tube. Tesla Motors CEO Elon Musk... I don't, I don't know. I mean, the Hyperloop in Futurama makes sense. But doing it for real, I think, you know, because, because people, we all have like, poor, we all have people that are fat and, you know, it's easy for like people to get stuck like there and, you know, I'm, I'm very big in the belly myself, so, <clears throat> you know, I don't, I don't think this is a good idea because it'd be like, uh, it'd be like Willy Wonka initially announced the Hyperloop project back in 2013, but, you know, maybe but it does not have an active part in its development today. Construction should begin later this year. For more, keep it here at IGN. Yeah, but maybe it might be good. It's just me being kind of, you know, being how I usually am, very, very, very cautious. I think that's about it, guys. Um, I just wanted to do this video to kind of tell you, you know, I'm sorry I didn't do anything today. <laughs> or, like, this week I've just been kind of taking a break, you know. I've been doing videos, you know, every day, all out, um, 20, 
15, and I just want to kind of take a break for a little while. I mean, trust me, it's not like I'm stopping, I'm just taking a break. But I wanted to just say that so you guys know what uh, what's going on. <laughs> no, but, like, if anybody, like, says, oh my god, Aunt Bugsy and Aunt Maru, like, Aunt Sakamaru fell down a freaking flight of stairs, and that's why Bugsy's not doing, doing a video. <laughs> I swear to God, if someone says that, I'm just going to laugh and think of that as kind of an idea I could use in freaking, like, Team H. Or if, like, someone, like, does something similar to that, I probably might look at it, laugh, and, yeah, get an idea from it. But, yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. I'll see you later. And yeah, I'll be doing that after the fact on the art stream pretty soon. It's just, yeah, today was kind of mm, to me, so, you know, you know, so, tomorrow, I mean, probably tomorrow I'll do something, it'll probably be a, it'll probably be a mock-off redo episode, so stay tuned for that, and, um, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye, guys. And seriously, try Blade and Soul. It's pretty good. Especially if you have what I have, which is an Xbox controller. You know, try it out. It's free, so... <laughs> and no, I am not getting paid to say that. But it's free, you know? Just go ahead and play it. It's pretty good.